Hey, well, good morning. Happy Tuesday. Rise and shine. Got my coffee. Ah, so, hope you guys have a great day today. Um, I watched the president last night, uh, and I posted a, a little rant in there. Uh, and I thought uh, it was a great speech, you know. Obviously, other people have their own opinions, which is fine with me. But uh, I had this one fella, and it, it just really ticked me off, right? Because uh, when I put a, a, a comment out there, if you want to uh, respond to it, by all means, come on, bring it, you know? <laughs> bring your opinion. I, I like to hear other people's opinion. But this fellow went off the other way, right? Um, he said... Uh, on his first response was, so it goes, on and on and on and on. That's all he said, right? So then I went down to the next one, and it was the same guy, right? And he goes, um, something to the effect of, where was he uh, during Vietnam? And I'm going, whoa, where is this coming from, you know? So I got back to him, I'm, and I'm not going to give you his name, all right? But I said to him, uh, to the best of my knowledge, uh, I think he was in college, I think. I'm, I'm not sure, all right? So <laughs> another guy responded under it, and uh, I kind of snickered at it, but uh, <laughs> it was a good comeback. This other guy said uh, he was with Bill Clinton. <laughs> <coughs> And then, the, the, the first guy, right, uh, he gets back to me and says, um, um, oh, yeah, where were you? And I'm going, what? Really? You know, where the hell is this coming from? Excuse my French. But, you know, this had nothing to do with Vietnam, all right? And the fellow that said that to me, you know, uh, I respect him for it. He was in the service. I'll give him that, you know, and I thank him for his service. But I had a jump on him, right? And I said, well, where were you? You certainly weren't in Nam, because he wasn't, right? He had told me in the past uh, he was in Germany. But, you know, he was still in the service, and I thanked him for that. But for, you know, where were you as in me? Well, I was still in school, all right? Um i got to go back in time here to explain why I was still in school, all right? When we moved here from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, I was going to uh, a uh, Catholic school in Milwaukee. It was called St. Alexander's. When we moved here, and that was grade school, all right? When we moved here, my parents uh, enrolled me in St. Philip and James in Exton, Pennsylvania. Now, St. Alexander's, when we moved out here, I was in fifth grade. All right. When we moved out here, the nuns, God rest their soul, they convinced my parents that uh, that they were two years advanced from what uh, the Wisconsin school system was. So they put me back in the third grade. I was freaking devastated, all right, <laughs> to say the least. So that's what happened. At the end there, when, you know, my high school years, all right, I should have been out, but I was still in high school because I was two years back, all right? Um, I had what they called a high school deferment, all right? Uh, for you older people, you all understand this. Um, most of the, the, the uh, people that were being drafted, all right, and back then it was mainly guys, um, they had what they called college deferments if they were in college. Well, me, I had a high school deferment. And I did, I had a draft card. My card came in the mail. I was number 11. If I wouldn't have been in high school, I would have been out there. Now, could I have been in Germany also? Who knows, right? But, yeah, my number was 11. But, no, I never made it to, to uh, the service. Uh, when, when I finally uh, graduated high school, the Vietnam War was coming to an end, okay? 
I graduated high school in 72. I should have graduated in 70. So that's my story, okay? <laughs> but anytime I put a post out there, I put it out there for a reason, to, to get everybody's opinion. You know, I'm up for it. But we don't have to get nasty with one another, okay? And the other thing I don't like, and it happens on uh, my side of the fence too, not me as much, but on my side of the fence. If we're going to uh, uh, throw our opinions out there, can we do it without using the F-bomb, you know, or any kind of swearing or nasty name-calling? You know, just put your opinion out there. You know, we're all adults here. <laughs> That's my opinion, okay? With all that being said, folks, i got to get ready and go down the road here, okay? Enjoy some more coffee or favorite, favorite beverage with me. Let's go. Ah, cheers in Ostrovia. Um, I love you guys, I really do, okay? Do something nice for someone today, okay? Say a prayer to your God for the United States of America and our president. And let's pray for peace on earth. Have a great day. Keep on smiling, all right? Think positive. Let's have a productive day today. Come on now. I'll talk to you later on. I love you guys. Take care.